Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see the lead code question number 7, reverse integer. The question is, given a signed 32-bit integer x, return x with its digits reversed. If reversing x causes the value to go outside the signed 32-bit integer range, then return 0. We are given two examples. The first example has the value x equals 123. We are reversing the integers and returning the value 321. If x has the value minus 123, we are returning the output minus 321. In the third example, if x has the value 120, if you reverse the integer, the output is 21. I hope the question is clear. Now let's see the approach how we can solve this problem. Let's consider our integer is 123. As a first step, we are declaring two integers, sum and sign. We are assigning the initial value 0 for sum and sign equals 1 if the number is a positive number. Next, we will iterate through the loop until the number is greater than 0. Next, we will find the remainder. The remainder is the ones digit of the number. In our case, the ones digit of our number is 3. We will find the new sum. Sum equals to sum times 10 plus the remainder. Our new sum is 3. Next, we will remove the ones digit from the number. If you remove 3 from the number, the number will be 12. Now, we will repeat the same steps again. x is 12 and our sum is 3. Now we will find the remainder which is the ones digit which is 2. Our new sum is 32. We will remove the ones digit from the number. The new number will be 1. 1 is greater than 0. So we are assigning x equals to 1. And our sum is 32. We are repeating the same step since x is greater than 0. We will calculate the remainder. The remainder is the ones digit of the number, which is 1. Our new sum is 321. Now, we will remove the ones digit of the number. Our new number equals to 0. Now, x equals to 0. So, we will break the loop and we will return sum times sign. That is 321, which is the reverse integer for 123. If our number is a negative number, for example, minus 123, we will assign sign as minus 1 and we will remove the sign from the number. So, our number becomes 123. Now, we will repeat the same step. We will iterate through the loop until x is greater than 0. We will find the remainder. We will find the sum. We will find the new x. And we will assign x as the new number. Next, we will assign sum as our new sum. And repeat the same steps again. We will repeat this until x equals to 0. Once x reaches 0, we will break the loop and return sum times sign. In our case, the sign is minus 1. So, we are returning minus 321. I hope the approach makes sense. Now, we will get into the implementation. As a first step, let's declare two variable sum and sign. Sum equals to 0 and sign equals to 1. If the number is a negative number, we will mark sign as minus 1 and make the number as positive number. If x less than 0, then sign equals to minus 1. x equals to x multiplied by minus 1. By multiplying the number with minus 1, we will convert the number to a positive number. We will iterate through the loop until x is greater than 0. While x greater than 0, we will assign remainder as the ones digit of the number. Remainder 
equals to number mod 10. Next we will calculate the sum. Sum equals to sum times 10 plus the remainder. Now we will get rid of the ones digit from the number x equals to x divided by 10. If the number is not assigned 32 bit number, we will just return 0. If not minus 2 power 31 less than sum less than 2 to the power 31 we will just return 0 return 0 as a last step we will multiply sum and the sign and return the result return sum times sign that's pretty much it now let me submit it the solution got accepted i hope you like this video and i am sure that you learned something new today if you do like this video please consider to subscribe and i will see you in yet another interesting lead code interview question thank you